YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today to test out a bunch of the AOA stuff I bought. I know, only several months after I bought it, but roll with me here, guys. Uh, this is what I was putting all this stuff together when I realized I have some gaps in stuff that I have. So, like, I knew I didn't buy an eye primer because I have a lot of eye primers and I have something comparable to the website one like a, ba a base they even sell already so i didn't worry about that but then i realized as i was going through my stuff today i don't have a concealer i don't have a kabuki brush to put on my powder let's see what else i didn't have an eyeshadow crease brush um and it looks like i don't have a lipstick either because well thing is I did buy a lipstick, but it doesn't match the eyeshadows that I bought at all. So I pulled something out from the drugstore that I hope will go with the look. We shall see. But I will try this on in the video just to show you what it looks like. So, yeah. I also don't have an eyeliner, but I have a replacement for that. I'm actually just going to use one of the shadows as an eyeliner, like just wet it and use it that way. Oh, and I don't have a bronzer. Because I don't know if I just looked at stuff wrong or they sent me the wrong color, but I thought I ordered a bronzer and then I received a set of blushes. No deal. So let me, you know, pull out my brushes since I did order them. I ordered the AOA PM set because it had a lip brush in it. That may have just been my mistake because, like I said, it doesn't appear to have a crease brush in it. So I did pull out a crease brush, but if you need something really expensive crease brush rise, uh, Elf sells crease brushes, Wet n Wild sells crease brushes. They're not that hard to get and they're still of really good quality. So I guess let's go in with eyeshadow first. Let me bring you in close. So I have the LA Colors eyeshadow primer, which is still available at least at Walgreens website for $2.99. They have a lot of LA Colors on there. So I figured this was comparable dupe without having to have another eyeshadow primer in my collection. This is a decent basic eyeshadow primer. Uh, High-end stuff works a little bit better, but for my purposes, this does work perfectly fine. If you could find it, that's part of the problem is that it's hard to find. Now I got the I'm a Beach eyeshadow palette and I am going, okay that's shimmery, never mind. I'm actually going to use something different. I also got the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder that I'm going to use to set my eyelids because there is no cream matte shade. Oh, that's really powdery. So I do like a pressed powder to at least, you know, like travel around with. Now for a base, I'm going in with the LA Colors Eyeshadow Stick in Seashells. They have this on the website, so I... Do not feel bad at all about using it. Mine, as you can see, is almost done, but you could get these for a dollar on their website too. And it, it, it was in stock last I checked because for the longest time this was out of stock. They don't seem to stock restock their stuff terribly often or maybe it just keeps selling out super quickly. Because I think that might be why I don't have a concealer was that I couldn't find my shade. So maybe, well, I don't know. All right, now the eyeshadows themselves, like I said, I got the I'm a Beach palette because I figured this was like $10. Figured even if the shadows were crap, I could use the magnetic palette. Now in my second order, which I can link down below, I actually got a bunch of big magnetic palettes as well. So I'm actually going to take this blue shade all over the lid. Yeah, I know. Shocker from me there. Uh, you could definitely get a much more neutral look out of this. You don't have to go bright ass blue like I am, but... So far, not a, not really any fallout, which is good because the bright blue. We shall see with the other colors once I'm going through, but so far I'm quite impressed because you still get some good color payoff without it being super powdery. Because these are basically like a dollar in eyeshadow and then kind of a dollar for the thing. So I'm going to go first with this light brown right here in the crease. I may deepen it up. I'm not entirely sure. Got a little bit of powder kickback from the matte, but still really not bad. I 
Definitely had to build the shade up some. But I mean, this was like dip in, place, dip in, and place. Like it was only like two dips for each of them. So outer corner, I think I'm gonna go with this maroon shade right here. I'm also somebody that just cleans up rather than tries to be super specific about where I place my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back in with that powder, that face powder that is, and wish I brought another brush over, but I guess this one will do for that. I think this is actually the highlighter brush, so I'm gonna be using it again. But I'm just gonna go back in with that powder and kind of blend out the crease a little bit. Since like I said, there's no like cream matte shade in there. But you know, like Wet n Wild sells their singles including the brulee shade for, you know, a dollar. I'm going in with this detailer brush and then I'm gonna take this shade right here in the inner corner. And it's perfect for that actually. Now I'm gonna use their wipes. I do really like their makeup wipes. I normally use them for stuff like, you know, cleaning up, swatches and whatnot, but they will take off makeup. You just only get 15 to a pack. This is my only complaint. It's very cool. Like, there is no fallout to amount to anything. I think I got like one speck that was right here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna take, uh, I guess I'll take the flat liner. Brush. They have a flat one and an angled one, and then I'm going to spray it with the MAC Fix Plus that I have, because it's what I have. Like, I don't have a setting spray for this either. I'm going to take this dark brown shade and line my upper lash line. I'm going to go back later once I've done, like, my concealer and do the lower lash line as well. Worked out pretty well, honestly. Now, mascara. Which I forgot to unwrap before coming out here because I'm smart. All right, that's enough. That, that'll let me open it. Anyways, this is the Fat Lash Mascara by AOA. Tried to get as much actual AOA products as I could because AOA is like their thing. So here is the wand. I am expected something fatter. It's giving some volume, like not a ton necessarily, but you know, it's getting the job done and can't be mad at that, especially for, you know, a dollar. Pretty good. Now for the brows. I actually have two products. I have another thing that I didn't unwrap at the time. The AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil and the AOA Go Brow Gel that is colored. And we have a spoolie! Yay! My brushes did not come with a spoolie. They came with a comb. It's one of those triangular things, so I'm not terribly good with them, but I will work with it. I don't remember my shade. Does it say it on here? So as you can see, I went through a major hair transformation since I last filmed. It doesn't say on here, but I probably won't put something like medium brown. That's what I usually go for. This is pointy, but it's depositing color. And I am not the greatest brow artist on the planet either, so... I admit, I like my brow pencils to be a little bit more on the creamier side because Especially when you dye your hair colors like I do, your brows tend to disappear unless you go pretty hard on them. At least I find that's the case. Maybe it's just me. And I never know quite what to do with this whole teardrop shape thing. I just want, I usually just wind up using the point until it's gone and then just kind of flailing at it. It'll do. Like I said, I'm not great at doing brows. Like I said, I'm so happy that there's a spoolie on this because my brushes did not come with one. 
Okay, so the brow gel, which looks like this. They're definitely going for that benefit gimme brow deal. Like it's got the same, a very similar brush and everything. I will happily try this a different day on its own to see how much color it really deposits. The main thing I care about for it is how well does it hold? Because I don't care how great of a color match it is. If I have to bust out another brow gel just to make sure my brows stay in place, I will never buy it again. All right. So on to the face. So first, primer. I did bust out some uh, AOA Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. The Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer minimizes shine and creates a smooth and matte canvas for flawless and long-lasting makeup application. We shall see. It's just kind of lotiony, like it's far less silicone -y than I was expecting, which is a good thing, honestly. I will totally use silicone primers, and some of them I even really like, but dang, they feel kind of nasty on the face. Some more than others, like the Smashbox one, I cannot wear it, it feels gross to me. So now we have the AOA Perfect BB Cream in the shade, what was it, Fair. When I looked at this on my hand to face, it looks like it matches. Yeah, it looks like it'll be a match. I also have their Beauty Blender. This is the one that's an extra 55 cents because they donate money to some animal thing. It is so good, y'all. I've been using this since January, and it's now March, and it hasn't torn up on me yet. So I am a forever convert, and if they ever discontinue these or go out of business, I will freaking cry. Like, even if I'm just ordering enough to get free shipping and ordering nothing but these, I would so do it. Well, these and their makeup wipes for, like, my makeup bag. Not a lot of coverage, but it was a, it's a BB cream. An American BB cream with that. I was not expecting a lot. Not a lot of coverage, but it was a, it's a BB cream. An American BB cream with that. I was not expecting a lot. Pretty dewy, but once again, BB cream. That's pretty much what I was expecting. Like, they had a decent number of foundations on there, but most of them are sold out in my shade. And I was curious to try this one in particular because I know some people on YouTube that really, really like it. I also forgot to mention that AOA is cruelty free. They do not test on animals, as far as I know of. So if that, if that is a concern of yours, you can totally get this. Here is the first full on substitute that I'm having to make because I'm dumb. Well, no, I guess it's not the first one because I substituted the eye primer. This is the first one I'm making because I'm dumb and I didn't, I just didn't get something that I needed to get. Like, I wonder if I looked, couldn't find my shade and just didn't order it. Or if I just decided I wasn't going to order it because I do have a lot of concealers, which is totally a possibility. But I'm just going to go in with what I'm currently panning, which is the Maybelline Master Conceal. Now I'm actually going in with the AOA Perfect uh, Loose Setting Powder and Translucent and setting that. I'll be setting, I'll be using it to set my whole face too. But. There are some people on YouTube that swear up and down by this powder. Oh my god, that's so white. Did I use too much? Very bright under there. Maybe it'll even out when I put powder in my face. I hope so. Otherwise I look like a reverse raccoon. This is the e.l.f. Kabuki. It's the e.l.f. Angled Kabuki brush, actually. Yeah, this is my face. I need a lot of powder. Yeah, this is gonna white cast me. This is just gonna white cast me a bit, which, you know, is a thing. Hopefully it'll tone down some once I put it on some bronzer. But yeah, I have to use a lot of powder to set my face. It's just a thing. Apparently I'm gonna be a reverse trash panda today. I am going to go in real quick on my lower lash line with this maroon shade again. 
And this detailer brush is actually a sponge tip applicator. It's a little pokey, but nothing obnoxious. Like nothing super painful, so I don't mind. Now the face products. So for the blush duo I wound up with, I got the Amused Cosmetics blush duo in... I don't think it has a name. This! I'm going to take this brush, this angled brush, and go in with the slightly shimmery side right here. Oh god, that's a lot of powder. Oh god, this smells like old school powder too, like that really powdery smell. Like that really perfumed powdery smell, you know? Like, look how much powder that kicks up! I mean, it's fine, but it's just messy. Most pigmented? Which, I mean, is fine for me, but... If you're darker than me, that might be an issue. Now, I bought a highlighter from AOA. It's the Halo Highlighter in Amore, but... It's bright pink. Like a very cool toned pink. So, that's not gonna look right. What I was thinking when I was... I wasn't thinking when I was picking out all this stuff, honestly. I wasn't thinking as much as I should have, so I'm instead going to take this eyeshadow right here, the one that's also in my inner corner, and highlight with that. Pretty striking highlighter, actually. Now, the blush had some shimmer in it, too, so... Okay, crisis averted there. Oh, no, crisis. I think I got this as a blush and was sent the wrong color. Anyways, this is the Malibu Glitz blush an enchanted orchid now first i was looking at that like maybe i can use that as a bronzer and that's actually way too dark for me as a bronzer <laughs> i don't even know what i'm gonna do with that said i'm going in with my wet and wild contour palette yeah it's like basically dead and i'm not gonna contour because i don't have a contour brush with this kit but i am going to bronze Finally, lip product. So these are what I bought. Once again, I was obviously not thinking clearly. I have a matte lip color from Zuri Flawless in the shade Brushed Lilac. I mean, it feels fine enough on the lips, but this color does not go with this eyeshadow. Let's see if this Burt Bees lipstick is any better. It'll do. It'll do. But I do have this diamond lip gloss that I will go in with. I can't... Oh, it's in Mermaid. First I couldn't read the color, but then I got it in the right light. And it is blue, so it does go with the look. Of course, this is one of those lipstick tubes, lip gloss tubes, that you can only get a teeny tiny amount at, out at a time. So that is the look. I need to add some dry shampoo to my hair for the day. It's kind of dirty, but I don't want to wash it yet because I did just dye it, but... We shall see how it hangs on my face. I will definitely be checking in at the end of the day. Alright, I'm back. It's the end of the day. I've actually had this stuff on for nine hours now, so... Uh, I just wanted to check in and see how everything looks. Taking off my hat. And I will say that the foundation didn't really transfer, or the BB cream, I should say. Because I've had that head on most of the day because my hair is kind of dirty looking. Because since I cut it, it gets dirtier a lot easier. I will say I'm a bit shiny. Nothing awful, though. And the shine, the little bit of shine I do have is... You know, pretty easy to take care of. These are oil blotting sheets from Clean and Clear. Hashtag so super duper not sponsored. Like, I can blot with one sheet, which is pretty good for me. I did blot a little bit at about the four or five hour mark. 
but I like the primer. I'm not sure about the BB cream yet. I think I'll have to play with it a little more just because, you know, it didn't, like I said though, it didn't transfer, so that's good. But the primer, especially, I think, especially, especially with a little bit of a pore filler, because I can see my pores a little bit in like these, my usual areas, I think it would be really nice. Um, the eyeshadow, unfortunately, I'm gonna bring you in close. Eyeshadow unfortunately went pretty muddy on me. I still want to play with them a little bit more because they didn't crease. They just went kind of everywhere. Especially the brown shade is what really got everywhere. But like along my lower lash line, it didn't move too badly. And I I do like the mascara. Like Especially for a dollar, it's really good. I even put it on my bottom lashes later just to see if it would transfer at all. And it didn't. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, the blush is still there, so that's good. And the uh, lip gloss wound up wearing away really, really quickly. So I'm actually not even wearing it now. Yeah, overall, most of the stuff turned out at least decent, you know, especially for a dollar. Like, I really liked the primer. I wound up really liking the mascara. I want to play with the shadow some more. Maybe it's just that one color that I put in my outer corner that kind of went everywhere because, like, the blue is still surprisingly vibrant. So, I just want to play with them a little bit more. Maybe try a different primer to see if they still travel a bit, but if they don't, $10 for 10 eyeshadows is really good. Uh, the BB cream was okay. It has low coverage, like super, super low coverage. The blush was fine. I didn't particularly love the lip gloss. Uh, the brows, they, the gel did not hold them in place. So not something that I would purchase again there because if I'm gonna buy a gel I want it to hold my brows in place because if I have to top that with another gel that's gonna hold them in place what's the point the brow pencil though worked out fine I can still see it in my brows so yeah that's it thank you guys for tuning in as always I do really appreciate it and hopefully I will see you later bye